Tonight, South Australia's Impact 100 awards expand. Two grants of $100,000 each to be announced. As members gather at the Arkaba to make their final selections, we look back at last year's finalists and what they've been able to achieve thanks to their Impact 100 grants. Good evening and welcome to the 2017 Impact 100 Grants Bulletin. It's been a busy and productive year, not just for Impact 100 with its expanded membership, but also for the three organisations which received finalists grants of $20,000 each, and of course the Zara Foundation, which received the major grant of $100,000. Now we'll hear from Zara shortly, but first let's find out how the Australian Centre for Social Innovation, or TAXI as it's known, used its grant. Family by Family is a support service which links sharing families who've been through tough times and come out the other side to seeking families currently encountering trouble and wanting to make positive changes. Family by Family is a network of Australian families that come together to support each other through change. Um, basically it's based on the preface that you've got a family that's gone through a lot of change and a lot of challenges in their life and they've come through and they still feel like they're thriving. And they support families who are going through tough times but really can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And you received a $20,000 runner-up grant from Impact 100. What did that mean for your program? Well, for us, what it meant is we've done a number of evaluations to date to talk about what we've achieved and how we've actually supported families to achieve the change they want. It's helped us delve into a little bit more detail, particularly for seeking families, to help better understand how we can continue to support them to create more networks in local communities so they can remain resilient without our intensive support. Um, one of our sharing families had a fantastic ability at um, makeup and special effects. Um, we've supported them to basically work through their own kind of process of how do they go to school and get college certification and then better understand how to apply for work in that sector. And so she's actually continued her engagement with family by family as a, as a, seat, a sharing family. Um, as well as maintained her own self-education and looking at revenue streams to pay for that herself as well. So it's actually making her more resilient um, and being a great leader for her, her, her daughter. So she's actually being a mm. great role model as well. Apart from grant money, one of the things Impact 100 offers organisations is the chance to raise their profile and network with potential partners. Happily, this is exactly what finalist Raising Literacies discovered. Since 2006, they've distributed more than 300,000 free reading packs to SA children with the support of more than 500 volunteers. But thanks to last year's involvement with Impact 100, they've not only boosted their profile, but also created a new and very productive partnership. Little Chicken Chickabee is a book that we um, commissioned South Australian author Janine Bryan and illustrator Danny Snell to produce for us, which goes into the preschool reading packs in 2017. So part of the money from Impact 100 was used as part of that development for the picture books. So 21,000 preschoolers um, throughout this year will receive the book and we feel very proud. And has there been any other benefit that you believe you gained from the process of applying to Impact 100? Impact 100 is significant, particularly for small organisations, to have the opportunity to present to um, a large collective of people who are not only interested but invested in the not-for-profit sector is incredibly significant. And on the night we were able to talk to a number of individuals and through that we've um, been able to form a partnership and a relationship with the Kafu Foundation and they're supporting us for the next three years in the Reading Pack program. The YWCA is a wonderful institution, well known and long established, 137 years young in South Australia. Its purpose has always been to build strong and equitable communities through the development of women's leadership and has a particular focus on empowerment of young women and girls. Thanks to becoming a finalist last year, the YWCA was able to deliver four of its Every Girl programs to students in Port Pirie and support renewal of the organisation in an important regional area. We've um, had some presence in Port Pirie over our history. There is a premise that we have up there and, and a club, a women's club that's still running. Uh, but we haven't been able to do any work with uh, the younger generations of recent years. So this um, $20,000 has enabled us to uh, 
employ a staff member in Port Pirie, uh, train her in the delivery of the program, and we've been able to deliver four programs in primary schools um, and John, Se John Peary Secondary College as well over the past 12 months. So that's close to 100 girls that have been put through this amazing leadership training. But it's also enabled us to to do some scoping around what are the gaps in services up in Port Pirie and what other things we could be doing. So that $20,000 from Impact 100 last year has really given you a bit more of a platform into Pirie from which you can launch further. That's right. We are hoping to take it perhaps out to places like Port Augusta and Wyala um, and over to Clare in the future. We have had quite a lot of interest from schools in those regions and we know regional areas are crying out for support and quite often they get a little bit forgotten. Zara Foundation Australia was born out of an almost unimaginable tragedy. But sadly, Zara Abrahimzadeh's children are not unique in their loss. Thousands of families across Australia suffer violence, often in silence and without hope of escape. Zara Foundation Australia was established to support such families and build their capacity to establish lives free of that debilitating threat of violence from within. This determination to create something positive out of a domestic violence tragedy has been inspirational to many, including those Impact 100 members who voted last year. It was life-changing for our organisation, absolutely amazing. It's really helped us to develop our infrastructure. So through the Impact 100, we've been able to purchase a vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, and not only that, we also, because of the connection to CMI Toyota and the CMV Foundation, we were supported also through them uh, to be able to purchase a vehicle at a cheaper cost. So we received $10,000 actually from CMV Foundation. Um, and we've also been able to purchase computers that support our training for women. It's definitely, I think, um, propelled us to a different, uh, different platform. Um, also with the support of, obviously, Aman um, Abrahim today being Young South Australian of the Year last year, I think he's also helped us to lift our profile. Um, and so I think we're definitely working towards being one of the leading domestic violence services in the state. Mm. You've got a little piggy there. I do. What's that for? So this is one of our tools that we use for women. So obviously our focus is economic empowerment. So our clients get given one of these. And the story behind this pig is that we had a, a woman who um, attended one of our financial literacy programs. She talked about how she used to save all of her $2 coins in a a 500 ml coke bottle <laughs> and so that was her creative way of um, saving and these little pigs believe it or not hold $250 worth right? of $2 coins and so him. I guess it's um, a simple way for us to um, tell women that are obviously on a low income yes. and experiencing poverty that there are ways to save um, but really we talk to women around budgeting, um, what your rights are, because that's really important. A lot of people don't really understand what their rights are when it comes to money or creditors. Um, and then we can link women into financial counsellors as well. When you're in a situation with a partner who has a tendency to be violent, mm. they're also somewhat controlling, which is why a lot of people in that situation feel trapped. That's right, that's right. And so that's exactly why financial abuse has been now been identified and it's being acknowledged now as a form of domestic violence, which is really important because perpetrators can really use that as a tactic and a strategy to prevent women from leaving. So it can be about um, having access, uh, not allowing her access to, to money, not allowing her access to work, um, all of those things that um, create a further barrier for her, for mm. her leaving. Mm. Yeah. So it is really about that control and power, like you said. So how many clients does Zara Foundation have now? Yeah, so our Pathways program sees around 15 women per term. So since Impact 100, we've seen 40 women go through our program and they're women who are moving on into further education at um, TAFE, for example, mm -hmm. or into um, work. Uh, we've got one example is we've got a young woman who has just finished our Pathways program and she's actually moved into a volunteering role at the community centre where we deliver the training and she's now being trained as a day manager at the centre. So she's really being able to get those skills, build on her resume so that she can then move into paid work. So that's a really great outcome. So we're seeing a lot of those uh, for women. So that's that must make the, uh, the family that initiated this movement, the Zara mm. Foundation, that must make them very happy to see the legacy that's grown out of the tragedy that was theirs. I think so. I think that's really what they wanted. They wanted to instil hope in women who are now walking in the shoes that Zara once did. And I think absolutely um, it's giving them a lot of satisfaction in seeing the outcomes for women, yeah. So now to 2017 and the opportunity, thanks to your support, 
to offer two organisations a $100,000 grant. Our finalists are chosen. Our members are gathered. Now, let's make an impact.